Good morning, everyone. Today is September 24th, 2020. It's Thursday. I don't know. Well, no, I do know about most of you because I've heard from a lot of people how um, like overwhelmed doesn't quite fit the, the, the feelings right now. There's just not a lot of time. Um, there's not a lot of time to process things. Um, we've become very like just reacting to whatever's right in front of us. Um, and all of it is hard because it's not stuff that we're used to doing. And I'm hearing from all across the board that people are tired, um, that they just, they need some way to just be. And I'm feeling that myself. Um, and if I'm feeling that and I don't have the extra burden of children, um, then I know that those of you who are parents and trying to figure out school at home and work either in your place of work or at home, it's a lot and there's no time. There's no, there's no 15 minutes unless you lock yourself in the bathroom for you to just be by yourself to breathe and to think. So as I was thinking about that and reflecting on my own week last week and, and what this first part of the week has been and some of the learning that I was able to do yesterday, um, even though it was in an all-day Zoom meeting, uh, I thought, you know, one of the biggest tools that I have at my disposal um, to help me manage these kinds of moments in my life um, is prayer and meditation. And I found myself really just wanting to sit down and pray with you this morning. But not just like me babbling at you, but providing you with a space in this five to seven minutes that you have um, with me to, to breathe. Um, and so I'm going to, I pulled this book again because I knew exactly what I wanted to do, but it's in this book. It's called, um, we've done it in church before. It's called Palms Up, Palms Down Prayer. So I'm gonna invite you today for my musing into a time of quiet and prayer. This is actually what my newsletter article ended up being too. Um, so there must be something to this. So I'd like you to sit comfortably. Um, don't have anything in your hands or anything in your lap. Um, put both feet on the floor if you're sitting in a chair or if you're on the ground, um, cross your leg, put, you know, put your legs crossed. And I want you to close your eyes and you're going to begin by placing your palms face down on your lap or in front of you as a way to symbolize turning over, turning over any concerns you may have to God, whatever it is that weighs you down, release it. Take some deep, deep breaths. Breathe in, hold it, breathe out. Breathe in, hold it, breathe out. And now I would like you to turn your palms face up or in front of you as a symbol of your desire to receive what God would have for you. Ask for what you need in this moment or this day. Take a deep breath. And keep breathing as you await the Holy Spirit who performs the work of prayer and knows our needs and the condition of our heart and our soul and takes all of that and puts it into size too deep for words. This is our invitation to the Holy Spirit to come and express our needs in a way that is beyond our own ability to put them into words. Breathe.
And next, I invite you to bring your hands together. You can intertwine them or just have them together, whichever is comfortable for you. And we want you to spend some time in silence. You're not relinquishing anything or asking for anything. Simply being still in this moment and sitting in the presence of God and hearing God's voice speak to you. Holy God, we don't know what this day will bring. We don't know what news will arise. We don't know what will be happening in the lives of those whom we love. But we do know that no matter what, you are with us. And in you we find rest. In you we find wisdom. In you we find all that we need to face each day. May your presence be with us in ways that we cannot ignore this day and in the days to come. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Be well, dear ones. Be kind and know that Christ is with you.